In the story, you play as a young girl named Rose, who is within the ruins of the castle and awakes to find she has a strange power to manipulate blood into and out of objects. And without the blood in said objects, they become stuck in time. Fortunately, she eventually gains the help from a golem, and the two of them try to find a way to escape the castle. One of the best parts about this story is how everything is done with little to no dialogue. Rose is very expressive when she is about to die or when interacting with the golem. Fear is easy to see and honestly makes me feel even more uneasy when she has to kill herself in order to get further into the castle. Now you might be a bit confused why I said she fears dying over and over again. See, with the curse, Rose can actually come back from the dead. Now this might sound, you know, neat and really no need to be scared, but on the contrary, there is a reason because she's still experiencing all that pain. Her body still remembers all that crap. And for a little girl, that's pretty damn scarring. Yet there are moments that do show her happy, mainly in bonding with her golem, and they are pretty damn cute. The nice contrast of the innocence of the character and the dark bloody nature of the death and the thorn curse works really damn well. I do admit though, I wish the colors were a bit more balanced and didn't look a bit foggy. The story also requires some reading to further understand things, such as the source of the curse, but none of it ever felt too intrusive and the plot moved at a reasonable pace, provided I didn't get stuck on the puzzles. The death animations are limited, but still pretty good, showing fear but also some good sound effects, like this monster eating Rose's head off. I am so sorry, Rose. Gameplay pretty much consists of platforming and puzzles. Rose and the golem control differently, as the golem is almost invincible barring a certain plan and jumping into pits. Meanwhile, Rose is more fragile than a glass cup and dies often, even from situations that, well, she shouldn't. Seriously, how did I die here? But for the most part, you need both of them to advance to the next stage. There are not many collectibles besides journal entries, along with these blood spots that help give more insight into the story or the character that bled out. Fortunately, if you miss these spots, they are marked on your map after finishing the section. Unfortunately, they can be very annoying to get to, and they're also mandatory, which just made me more frustrated. At least those bits of story are kinda worth it. The puzzles later though grow really damn difficult, bordering on insanity due to the unorthodox way they have to be solved, and some don't even make any goddamn sense. At least in other games, those puzzles can make me slap my head and go, oh, that's how it goes. Worse though is how confusing they can be. Such as this one part that requires momentum, yet strangely doesn't. Or sometimes the table simply will not move, adding to my frustration as one simple mistake can easily result in death. Also, do you see this helmet thingy? I didn't know what this was for at first, but apparently you need this in order to open a certain gate so you can get a blood memory from the library. What the game did not tell me, along with this little fact, is that once you get the second ending, the helmet vanishes completely, so I couldn't get the final ending, forcing me to delete my save since there is only one save slot. I'm pretty sure you can guess the anger I experienced. Bird, 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 bird. There are only two boss battles in the game, and I can't really show you due to massive spoilers, and it's a game of memorization, as it's likely you will die due to how fast the enemy can attack, especially with how fragile Rose can be. There's also a time attack mechanic as well, which is basically speedrunning stages. Not really much to say here, but for speedrunners, this is interesting at least. The final verdict for a rose in the twilight is... Check it out. Sadly, some of the more cheap parts of the game do hold it back from me recommending it as a good buy. However, if you get past that without breaking your controller, you can find a very interesting experience. Just be sure to be patient and maybe have a guide to avoid making the same mistakes I did. I'm the smartest moron, and I need to put out some fires for my outburst. At least nothing important got damaged.